Right, today's the day. I'm getting up early, I'm going for a run, and I'm eating healthy. Well, let's be honest, you're not gonna stick with an exercise routine, and you're definitely not gonna stick to a diet. I reckon just stay in bed to the last possible minute. You know what? You're absolutely right. My man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I choose to be happy. <laughs> yeah, like you could ever be happy. Oh, you're late by the way. Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, 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 wait up. Wait up. Oh, hey, um, did you get the docs that I sent you? Yeah, I sent you the contract. Um, let me know if you need me to go over any of that with you. Yeah, cool. Cool. Thanks. Oh, hey, by the way, um, I was wondering, uh, what are you up to this weekend? Nothing. I think I'd probably just watch some Netflix or something. Yeah, cool. Cool. Okay. Um, I was just wondering... Don't even think about it, you f wit. There is literally no way she would be remotely interested in you. Yeah. Okay. Totally. You were just wondering if... Oh, right, yeah, I was just wondering uh, what time the meeting yesterday is... Was. Nice. Today. The, the meeting today, this afternoon. What time is it? It's 3. 3 p.m. Right, cool. <laughs> so, you were saying something about the weekend? Huh? No. 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 It's crazy how successful everyone from high school is these days, eh? Totally. Wow, are they in Spain? Uh, yeah. Wow, they look so happy. Yeah. Man, it's crazy, right? Like, you'll never feel that happy. Right. Eh? Probably. Yeah. Oh. Hello, you. Anyway, man, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Is your partner's depression bumming you out? Are your friends' frequent anxiety attacks standing in the way of you having a good time? Is your friend's inescapable downward spiral of insomnia fueled dissociative episodes that has obliterated their ability to function really killing your vibe? I've just been like really overwhelmed lately and I, I don't know what to do. Cool. When your friend reaches out to you for help, wouldn't it be great to be able to just press a button and make it all go away? You know, without really listening or making any effort to understand the situation. Well, now you can. Introducing Thanks, I'm Cured. Thanks, I'm Cured comes pre-programmed with over 1,500 automated responses guaranteed to make you feel like you're helping. I just don't know how much more of this I can take. You should probably just exercise more. And so I just don't see any reason to keep going. My partner opened up to me about their mental illnesses and I didn't have the understanding or experience to offer any qualified advice. But that didn't stop me from weighing in anyway. Have you tried being more positive? I could tell my friend was upset and I really wanted to feel useful, but I didn't want to put in any effort or inconvenience myself in any way. It could always be worse. Happiness is a choice. Just snap out of it. Yoga really worked for me. Have you tried chamomile tea? But wait, there's more. With the new relatability expansion, for when you'd prefer to make it all about you. Oh my god, I'm OCD too. Like, just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I'm happy to just listen if you want to talk. Wrong! 
Why would you waste your time listening or trying to broaden your perspectives when you can just use a one-size-fits-all platitude instead? This too shall pass. My depression was stopping me from doing the things that I love. But then my partner told me I just need to try harder. Can't believe I didn't think of that before. It's all just in your head. I spent years battling with severe panic attacks. Absolutely crippling. But then I did a push-up, and now I'm cured. Stop being so selfish. I had a chemical imbalance in my brain that prevented it from making the required levels of serotonin needed to regulate my moods like regular people. But then my friend suggested I don't be that way and I've never looked back. Other people have it much worse than you. <laughs> wow, thanks. I'm cured. Still smiling. <laughs> Thanks Uncured is available for free and completely unsolicited wherever good intention but ultimately unqualified friends, family and strangers can be found. Guys wanna do some team building, come out. Not Ryan, seriously, we are way too- ALAN! COME OUT! Okay. And now, do you guys know how to play Simon Says? Yes. Oh, I love that game. Go, everyone gather around. Come gather, gather on over here. <clears throat> okay. Simon Says... Put your hands on your head. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Uh, Simon says, put your hands on your head, Alan, or you're getting a pay cut. <laughs> There's the attitude, nice. Okay, Simon says, spin in a circle. Simon says, touch your nose. Touch your eyes. <laughs> oh, nice, okay, okay. Simon says laugh. <laughs> Simon says shout. Hey! Simon says wink. Give yourself a high five. Oh, oh <laughs> nearly. <laughs> okay, spin in a circle. Oh, oh no! Damn it! <laughs> I knew I'd get one of you. Okay, let's do this. Oh, now I've got you. Oh, I can sense some competition. Simon says touch your toes. Simon says jump. Simon says give Brian a thumbs up. Simon says, say Rowan is the best. Rowan is the best! Simon says, that feels really nice to hear. Simon says, he feels like he hasn't had a compliment in years. Um, Simon says, he feels like he really struggles to get people to respect him. <laughs> Simon says, he doesn't know if anyone actually really likes him. Simon says he doesn't think he's actually had a true friend in years. Simon says that he's worried about his mental stability. <clears throat> Simon says that uh, he, he's worried about reaching out to his colleagues about how he feels because he's worried that he'll just end up pushing them away. <laughs> Simon uh, says that he feels really alone. Give Rowan a hug. Oh, of course, man. Yeah, man, dude. Oh, oh my good. god. <laughs> <laughs> Shame! I didn't say Simon says give Rowan a hug. And what were you even doing? You were out. <laughs> ah! Ha ha! Ah! Yes! I win! Ah! Ha ha! I don't like it when anyone gets close to me. Ah, I don't want to hurt, I don't want to feel the pain. Ha 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 losers. Ah. Good work, men, just in time. If we hadn't played that embarrassing hypothetical far-fetched scenario, he might have just walked into that party without any issues. And that would have been a disaster. Hold your applause, men. We've only delayed him. If he composes himself, there'll be a hell to pay. What are your orders, sir? Command to give me a status report. His normal brain function is still operating at 48%. We're not out of the woods just yet. Increase the sensation of pressure around the mind. Make him squirm. Yes, sir. Take that, me. You 
bitch. Lieutenant, increase internal temperature five degrees and hold course. Yes, sir. Let's see how I do when I sweat. Status report. Brain operating at 37%. Increase the amygdala response and begin strengthening insecurities. Focus on social and sexual performance. Very good, sir. Sir, he's attempting breathing exercises to lessen the impact. My god. Begin a stress hormone bombardment across the central nervous system. Yes, sir. Let's see how you deal with that, you fuck. Target is returning to his car. We've won. We haven't won until he's driven home, Commander. Lieutenant, I need you to bring up any embarrassing memories you can find. Any memories in particular, sir? No, just anything will do. Sir, hmm. I think you better take a look at this. What in the world? General? What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Status report! His brain is only operating at 18%. This doesn't make any sense. General! General! Uh, quickly, I conjure up some intrusive thoughts! What kind of intrusive thoughts? Anything, goddammit! None of them mean a f***ing thing! Uh. Oh, hey! Oh, hey. By the light! Oh shit. Adventurer, what a succulent surprise! After we last parted ways, I searched for you for days and days and days and days and days, and I couldn't find you anywhere. Yeah. Oh, off hey to guys, do the dungeon, are we? Can... Be brave! I mean, Go hey. well! Have you lost something? Just suddenly the will to live. What's that? Looking for a party. Oh, I love a party. What kind? A birthday, a homestead, warming, hand fasting, elvish fornication celebration. What? Huh? No, like a party. Like a party to go into the dungeon with. <gasps> oh, 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 please take me, take uh. me. Look, I'm ever so swift and nifty, observe. Yeah, that was very nifty. Please, please, nothing on Azurum would make me happier. Um. Okay, why not? Huzzah! But look, can we agree you're going to get the chit-chat right down here, okay? Because you have a tendency to talk a lot, and I'm just trying to focus. Nary a chit nor chat shall escape these lips. Great. <laughs> but first... There's no way. Uh -huh. There's none. Yes, okay. of course. Uh -huh. Here we go! And so I said, no, even though I am the bravest and the strongest, and I have the most combat experience, Fireheart will not be king of the dwarves. Champion one of your own, I said, and thus saving the annual Yule celebration. That is really great. So great for you. Just, um, the sun is setting, and I would love it if you would help me find this quest item. Quest item. Oh my, that reminds me of a story when I was once on a quest and I was looking for an item. And then I found the item. And then I cleansed the well of eternal life and all the villagers came out to celebrate and they all wanted to be my friend, best friend. Okay, that's enough of that. All you've been doing for like the last three hours is talking about yourself in character. What is this all about? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I mean the hair, the, the, the clothes, the voice, and the, just like the general vibe. Who are you? Who are you, really? I am Fireheart. Tell me right now or I'm leaving. No, 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 okay, okay, okay. Well, um, look, I'm, I'm still not sure what you're talking about, but perhaps I can regale you with a story of, of a man I know. His name is... 
His name is Ben. He's a pathetic, depressing type, really. Scared of the world. So he just loses himself inside of games. <laughs> never leaving his hovel. There's no one in his life, no friends. He's never been any good at making friends. Not like me. Fireheart is friend to all. And I'm powerful and strong. I know magic. <laughs> ben, on the other hand, he, uh... Well, I don't really like him, to be honest. He's so desperate to be liked. It's all he thinks about. And yet he never puts himself out there. You know, and I, I, I try and encourage him, push him to be more, better. He says that he can't. He's trapped. Alone. Scared. He, um, he thinks some pretty dark things sometimes. He even threatened to... But I talked him out of it. <laughs> Luckily, I am Fireheart, and nothing can stamp out my flame. But anyway, I, I, shall, I shall stop boring you with stories about my weird, sad friend. I'm sure you can't relate anyway. No, not really. For what it's worth. I'm sure Ben's not that bad of a guy. I mean, if I had friends with him, I can't imagine that he would be. Well, I shall pass your kind words along. Don't get weird about it. <laughs> Adventurer, we are bonded now for life. I shall follow you wherever you go, into the privy oh. if need be. I shall be by your side forever. Bye. Farewell, friend. All right, take a seat. Okay, um, why don't you just start by telling me what's wrong from the beginning? Um, where to start? I mean, I guess the short story is I'm depressed. Uh, how long has it been going on? It's, it's been going on for a while now. The thing is, I just, I just never feel happy. I wake up in the morning and I'm depressed and that just carries through the rest of the day. And then anytime anyone says anything to me, it just sends me into a negative thought spiral that I can't get out of. Yeah, right, a negative thought spiral. Yeah. Um, have you tried, uh, when you wake up in the morning, just not being depressed. Huh? Because it starts in the morning, um, have you tried starting the day not being depressed? N n just not being depressed? Yeah, uh, so for example, you wake up in the morning and you, you choose to be happy. You, know, you want to start the morning how you wish to proceed. Snap out of it. What? Wake up and not be depressed. Well, that's the thing I'm finding difficult. I, I, I can't do that. Have you tried harder? Tr tried harder not to be depressed. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, um, here's a tip. Have you tried uh, having an apple? Just, just an apple? Yeah, just have a munch on a nice red apple, you'll feel better in no time. And that works? Absolutely it does. Every day or in the, in the morning, the evening? Whenever you're feeling sad, you have a bite of an apple. And the thing is, the natural sugars in an apple are actually really good for the brain. And depression is actually in the brain. I just don't think a diet change is gonna help me. I've got a surprise for you. Yeah? Have a look under your seat. Under here? Under your seat. What is it? It's an apple. It's an apple! So, have a munch. Yeah, really get those juices around the mouth. That sugar. You'll feel the sugar kind of like revitalizing you. Yeah? How's it feeling? No, 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 look, an apple's not gonna help. I came to you because I'm feeling anxious and depressed and nothing can change it. I need your help. I need actual tips to change my mindset because I don't know what I'm gonna do if I can't. I can see that this is a really serious issue for you. <laughs> Depression is a beast that can drag you down for years. Yeah. It might feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Exactly. 
But what I need you to know is that you just need to snap out of it. You feel the sadness and you just go, shake it off. Can you do that? Or just let go and shake it off. Shake the sadness off. Another thing you can try, just smile. And you can laugh as well. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror and you can say, no, I choose to be happy. Uh, look, Marie will take care of the invoice. Just leave the cash with her. <laughs> Have you seen the final episode yet? No spoilers, am I right? No, spoilers. <laughs> no, no, not yet. I haven't. No. Wait, what? You haven't seen it yet? No, no I haven't caught up yet. That's crazy oh that you're not up to date. Yeah. yeah, man. How can you even live with yourself when you haven't even seen her? I know, right? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Uh, you guys keep talking spoilers. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Watch it while you're in there. Yeah. 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 Again, everyone's got a frog in their container. He takes it out of the container and immediately vomits. Yeah, no way. He vomits all over the frog. He vomits like he vomits like it on the heart next to us. <laughs> 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 Jesus. 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 Sorry, I didn't realize anyone was in here. It's okay, it's not my room. I mean, I can leave if you want. No, I just came in here to get away from everyone. It's really busy out there, huh? Yeah. So what are you reading? Oh, it's just this, it's like an old book of New Zealand recipes. It's pretty random. Yeah? There's like a pumpkin with a monocle in it. That is pretty random. Yeah. Do you want to look at it? Uh, yeah, okay. I don't understand how it's staying up. Oh, and, and is that meant to be a meal or something? I think it's a decoration, it says, cut out the eyes and nose and mouth with a sharp knife. That would literally <laughs> terrify me. Yes! You suck as much as your mum does. That's not fair, you cheated! Yeah, okay, good, good, no GG, easy. Oh, you motherfucker! Hey everyone, look at my cosplay. I'm Zelda from Twilight Princess. I'd like to twilight your princess, if you know what I mean. <laughs> What's up? What's up? I just punished this kid in Fortnite. Nice, dude. Load up, Cod. Yeah, boy! Yes, sweet. Load it up. Hi, James. I just wanted to say you look lovely in this photo with your friends. Is that girl next to you a potential girlfriend? Wink, wink. <laughs> Much love, Mumsy. Oh, man, this game takes forever to load. Yeah, the f***ing servers have been a little beard. Yeah, they need to fix their f***ing servers. It's a joke. Yeah. Servers. That is disgusting. This is about me trying to show off my art. F off. You're just using your tits to farm upvotes. This is not about my body. This is about me showing off the hard work that I have put into this costume. 
Okay, keep telling yourself that while all these guys touch their dicks. Actually, was that photo taken in Wellington? That reminds me of the time we were all there when you were young and you whipped out your little willy in the main square and shouted, Fire Hose Brigade, and you ran up and down peeing. Oh, <laughs> delete. <laughs> Mum. Subject, written warning. James, I specifically told you that I wanted those quarterly reports by the end of day Friday, and when I saw you log out of your remote desktop at 3 p.m., <laughs> Oh, something happened to the comment and it disappeared, love. Well, what I said was, it reminded me of- Delete. Fuck. <laughs> Throw back to summer. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? The world is on fire and you don't even oh, care. Hashtag up. save the trees. You suck on a bag and I could kick your ass in real life. Can you do the update? Are I you told giving you these the messages? Jane, oh Mum, stop. Mom, what do you mean? It's just a joke. Can't even acknowledge your own problem. You're just a little kid in your mum's basement, bitch. I spend more time in your mum's basement. I don't even need your job. Fuck you. Hi, honey. How's it going? We missed you at family dinner last night. Sorry. We'd love to see you this weekend. Okay, then. Talk later. Love you. Sorry, Miss Dino. Some stuff came up. We'd love to see you tomorrow. Actually, yeah, I'd really like that. It'd be amazing if you could make your world famous pot pie. <sighs> yeah, cool. Well, it will be lovely to see you. We haven't seen you properly in so long. I'm really sorry about that, Mum. Things have been pretty rough recently with my mental health. I'm not in a good spot, and I don't want you to see me like that. And it's getting worse. Being cooped up, working from home, it's, it's really taking its toll. And I just, I feel like I've got no one to talk to. You know, I, I used to be able to talk, but now, I just feel myself shutting down and shutting myself off from you and the rest of the family about how I'm feeling. There are days when I don't even get out of bed. I've been in some really dark spots. And I don't know how to get out. See you then. Lovely. Can't wait to see you. We've been making these mental health skits to try and normalise talking about mental health. All of us at Beaver have struggled in one way or another. I struggle with anxiety and depression. And if you or anyone you know have struggled, now or in the past, we've left some resources in the description below for you to check out. Hopefully they can help. Thanks guys.